Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day five, day of, five. of the Sky Princess Cruise Vlog Series. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to our channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are in our second day in St. Martin. Yes. And today we have an island tour and I'm very excited about that. We are going to go by Maho Beach. We're going to hit a couple of beaches and a couple, they call it the top 10 St. Martin spots. So we're gonna go see those. This is a princess cruise excursion. Uh, we had this booked originally uh, as pre-cruise. So all the information, everything we spent on tours, on excursions, on internet, on how much this cruise costs, everything. We link down in the description box, as well as anything you see us wearing. Uh, we're not wearing any of our beach essentials today because we're not going to be getting in the water, but we do get a lot of questions about our beach essentials, and those are linked down in the description box in our Amazon store. So all of that's there for you. All right, so we are supposed to meet downstairs at 8.20. It is 7.53. So we will see you downstairs and uh, hop on that bus and get on this tour. Yep. We'll find our meeting point and go from there. I'll be right back. All right, it is 8.30 and we are headed to our carriage for the day. Our carriage awaits. <laughs> I love the mountains just right there. Me too. That was one of the things we loved about Alaska is the mountains literally felt like you could reach out and touch them. There's our ride for the day. Looks very nice. We will see you on board. In the sun? Take the left. Okay. That's the rule, Robert. Wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs> always. Always. AC works very well on this boat. <laughs> on this bus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and kids, good morning. Good morning. Now you guys sound much better. Just now you guys sound like you're sleeping on me. <laughs> it's I'm early. to make a turn, go right back to the ship. <laughs> The population on the island is 100,000, 50,000 on the Dutch and 50,000 on the French. The currency on the Dutch side is guilders and US dollars, and the currency on the French side is euros and US dollars. Leaving the Dutch Does side, have heading the to the French. No? You guys forgot your passport? No. Oh. Then I'm going to have to leave you guys on this side of the island. Then I have to come back for you guys later. He's kidding. I'm just kidding. It's an open bar. We have no border control. Do you guys feel that French breeze already? We oui, oui. We are on the French side. Right in the back of the hotel, you're going to see a mountain. Do you see an island behind of the hotel? Do you guys know Jimmy Buffett? Yeah. Well, that's St. Barnes. Jimmy, St. Barnes. Jimmy Buffett have a restaurant at St. Barnes. Picture stop number one. This is gorgeous. This is the French side of the island, so this is the Atlantic. It's amazing. Let's go up. We'll see you up there. The Atlantic. And as it gets up in here, there's like nothing. They're like nice and flat. It's yeah, because it's, it's so shallow there, it's breaking and just yeah. kind of rolling through. Yeah, I mean, there's almost no waves yeah. on this side. We lived on, we lived on the island as long. They used that a lot in the road. It's very rocky, but it's beautiful. Yeah, crystal clear. And it's just beautiful. You can just kind of swim over and then get on that. All right, 
out. Heading back to the bus. We were remarking about the mountain. Look at just big boulders. It's really cool. So pretty. I guess that's more of a hill than a mountain, but still. Coming up to your right hand side, coming up over to your right hand side, those of you who want to take a picture of some iguanas. Billy with the number 122. That used to be the old person on the front side, and that used to hold 40 images. Now, if you go outside, they'll ship you over to Guadalupe or Martinique. Do you guys know the movie Speed 2 with Chandra Bullock? Yes. All right. I'm going to show you guys where that movie was filmed. This movie on Speed 2 was filmed right here at the waterfront, Marigold. guys look in front of the bus, where you see the marketplace, way out in front of us there, that's where Speed 2 was shot when the boat was crashed, that's right here at the waterfront, Marigo. We're coming up to our next stop, we're going to be staying here at the capital, Marigo, going to be giving you guys 45 minutes, so you guys can get some time to do some shopping, browse around, take some pictures. We're going to be staying here for 45 minutes. Over here to your left hand side, that's the mall. If you guys want to use the restroom here at the mall, they're going to charge you a dollar. We have a public restroom on the other side. We have about 45 minutes here in the little market. Mm, that one. That one. Yeah. Do you, or do you like, which one do you like? I like that one. Yeah. How much for that and, uh, one? How much? Ten. 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 Okay. Okay, so we got Robert a t-shirt and me a visor. And uh, I love to collect the visors everywhere we go. Because that's what I wear in all the ports. <laughs> when we're at the beach is a visor. It's very windy. That's what I like, just when they're handmade. That is just darling. Oh. And now here, so the market's just right there. The bus is parked just on the other side of this building. Right here is a bunch of food restaurants. Just a bunch of restaurants, food restaurants. Bunch of restaurants and places to eat. Very nice. Smells very much of seafood, fried seafood. Unfortunately, I can't eat anything in, in these places because let me tell you, you guys, that's one thing that I miss is being able to just try all the different foods from the local islands and countries we visit. I, I really wish I could do that. Because I absolutely would. So something to note, you will need a couple of dollars or whatever, singles, a couple of singles, uh, to use the restroom. So everywhere, here. Some beautiful yachts here today. The water is beautiful too. Back on the bus, the next stop is the Sunset Beach Bar, Mako Beach, where we will be Hopefully seeing a couple of planes, that'd be awesome. That'd be very awesome. But I haven't seen any planes flying over. Right here to your right, you're going to get some spike. First flag you're going to be seeing is a French. The second flag is a Dutch. The third flag is a Sematic flag. Welcome to the Dutch yeah. side. Over to your right, you're going to see the mass is up and the boat is under the lagoon. Here's Maho Beach, you can see it is. What's the bus ah. number? 60. All right. What's your driver's name? Serge. I have now 1120. 
25 minutes we stay here. What time everyone is going to be back up the bus for? 1 to 12. Look at all these people. What time? 5 to 12. You can show everybody here. Okay, we're in the little shopping bar area here at Maho Beach. A little beach entry pool here. All right, we've made our way around, but we are definitely not going to go contend with the crowds down there. But there is a beach here. It's wavy currently today. I would imagine on a less calm day it wouldn't be as windy. I mean as wavy. You can see it ends right here on the road. I mean literally. Do we know what's to do? She was little, but we got her. So no Airbus is coming through today, no 747, so. There you go. That was loud for whatever it was. All right, we gotta get back to the bus. Uh, well, she's behind Allure. <laughs> All right, those of you who want to take some pictures, you do so. <laughs> there she is. Time to get on the ship and grab some lunch. Very hungry. For once. <laughs> lots of choices on the buffet and I will take you through in just a second maybe there were a lot of people and I've told you before I don't like to stick my camera up there when there's people we have a great view here and here is my lunch I'm gonna show you this is bean soup and this is garlic fried rice I was very excited to see these two choices uh, these are the only two gluten-free I'm gonna have some lunch and then uh, Robert's getting some pe some fajitas and um, then I'm gonna go back through for some dessert Robert is back and he got fajitas. Yes. Are they good, Robert? They're very good. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. So I've made my way through my lunch. I will probably go back up there and find dessert. We have the Serbian bean soup, which is what I had, mushroom soup, we have toppings, and then we have the meat ravioli and pasta with garlic and broccoli. So they have a couple of pasta bars and they heat it up in there. This pie and some baked pasta. Different options here. Turkey stew, see that is not gluten free. It says it is, but it's not. Poached filet of fish, chicken breast, pork chop. This is a gyro pork pita pocket. Oh, that looks good. French fries, they are not gluten free today because they are not labeled gluten free. We have the roast tri tip. Honey orange glazed Virginia ham and applesauce. Mashed potatoes, no wheat. Steamed potatoes, roast potatoes. But if you'll notice, this one says, hello. This one says no wheat, and this one does not. So you have to pay attention to that. Creamed corn, no wheat. I don't know what that is. It looks delicious. Steamed rice, yellow rice, turnips and rutabaga. Mm. <laughs> I had that the other day. It's very good. Braised Swiss chard, sauteed green peas, steamed broccoli, and cauliflower. So there you go. Fruits over here and some sandwiches. These are not gluten-free. But if you go down to the... Uh, restaurant on the I want to say the promenade it's not it's on deck five they have gluten-free options they'll make you a sandwich there this is beef beef rending and this is garlic fried rice which I did have I'm not quite sure what that is it's not labeled it looks like a pork dish popcorn chicken vindaloo we have vegetable kofta we have del macni del macni and pilaf rice then over here we have a little bit more of the same um oh 
We have uh, some dal. We have some curried lentils. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> Vegetable rice noodles, tamari, tamari, and soy sauce. Okay, so that's what's down there, and it is gluten free. So, rice pilaf, and then we have some uh, little different salads. Eggplant, parmesan, bok choy, steamed vegetables, grilled vegetables, cream of mushroom soup. I am going to go locate a pastry shop, which is in the middle. And um, did I show you they have fresh? They always have fresh fruit. So we're gonna come and look for that real quick and then hopefully I'm not lost and I can find Robert. <laughs> Down here in the middle is the pastry shop. It may be in transition right now. Yeah. Oh, it smells amazing in here. It smells like coffee. Oh. So we'll have to see if anything's gluten-free. You can also go down to the coffee shop downstairs where they do have gluten-free options. Oh my gosh, you guys, it really, it smells heavenly in here. And cookies. Hello. Sugar-free. Okay, so the vanilla rice pudding is the gluten-free choice today. Okay, I found my way down to International Cafe, and here we have a raspberry dessert type thing. We'll try it, we'll see. And then I could not leave the cafe without a vanilla latte. I mean. Okay, it's loaded nachos. We are going to have to see if that is gluten free. Burritos, tacos, oh my goodness. Oh, everything. Look at that. We have fajitas, we have beef tacos, cheese, chips, taco shells, and taco Loaded nachos, you guys. Now, I didn't have such a great experience on Royal with the <laughs> cheese. So I'm a little apprehensive, but the chef has assured me that it is gluten-free. Oh my goodness, what a special treat. Y'all, I'm from Texas. Of course I'm gonna love the loaded nachos. Robert, do you have tacos? I have tacos. You have eaten well on this ship. I Pizza? Have, I have eaten very well on this ship. <laughs> Pizza, fajitas, and now tacos. Mm -hmm. They brought Texas with them. And the little Totino's pizza roll things. Oh yeah, we're not forgiving him for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Came and took our order. I'm gonna have a San Pellegrino, my favorite sparkling water. And Robert's got a Coke coming. He's really excited to be on Royal next week for the Mountain Dew. Are those stale? That sounded a little stale. It's a little stale. That's all right. But I'm edible. Eat, but edible. I'm gonna eat my nachos. <laughs> that was delicious. These are uh, these are very very good. I'm They're very jalapenos. pleased. They did have jalapenos, yeah. Very, very good. I was so busy posting the Instagram stories and telling my friend on Marco Polo that I forgot to show you. You guys, that is gluten-free pecan pie. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, does gluten-free pecan pie. I can't even find it in the grocery stores. Oh my goodness, it is delicious. What a night. If you haven't met me yet, I'm all the way from South Africa. Tonight we are going to be doing our Olympics history trivia. That means I'm going to ask you 20 questions about 
Olympic history and you need to write down the answers. Olympic experts, we are not. No. <laughs> we got 11 though. Not bad for guessing. Guessing on most of them. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching today and joining us here in the beautiful St. Martin. Please join us again tomorrow as we have a wonderful sea day, one of the last two sea days on this beautiful ship. And here is our sail away from St. Martin with the sunset. It was absolutely beautiful. So don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Good night.